Hey everybody, it's Mad Mario and welcome back to more Kirby Squeak Squad. And this is World Whoa 2 4 where we got Boulders. I believe one of these worlds does have a uh, race to the finish treasure chest, which I actually think does. I think it's Yeah, they're pretty annoying. Like you gotta race a boulder. Oh, this is it actually right here. Okay. No, I think I can actually, yeah, I can cheat by doing that. No, this is the one. Make sure you, yeah, the treasure chest is right there. Make sure you do that, because then the boulder will crush it. And there's a way out, so see. Yep. I believe so, and that's the only one. The chase. Yeah, the race to the finish is pretty annoying. I really don't like those kind of levels. Oh, we do get the cutter scroll. Alright, so here's 2 5, where we get 3 treasures. Okay, yeah, you have to collect 3 treasures in this one, and oh, don't fall into the pit. So don't fall into the pit, yeah. What's with all the flame things here? Oh. Well, honestly, I would best have the ice in this one, because you know what you can do? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the ice costume. Because you can put out the fire. Which is really nice, too, because, heck, nobody likes fires. And you can even do this. If you have the ice scroll, you can even put out that fire down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put out the fire, and here's the first treasure chest. Pretty easy, nothing really to it. Just go ahead and get it. And oh no. Yeah. And I love how ice is just a little fire. Yeah, me too. It's actually kind of weird because fire always beats ice for some reason. Okay, now, important to pick up this stone guy. Now, this is the stone boss. He moves very slow. The only thing you have to worry about is when he rolls like that. And these rocks here, so just make the moves as slow as possible. He basically like, comes into your attack. Unless the falling rocks get you. Which they just do right there. Alright, so once he's down, grab the metal costume. Trust me, it's a requirement. Why well, to get this costume right here? Like, you know, you can't, you don't have the metal scroll yet, so you can't turn into a ball. But you can do your ground pound. And get the second treasure. Now there's still one more, and that's gonna be a squeak treasure. So we'll get that later. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use up my medicine here. And just get rid of that casting altogether. Alright, as we get back to the classical music, I'm gonna get the fighting costume. And man, these things are sort of hard to get rid of. I love this uppercut. Woo! Yeah, the fight costume is a pretty good costume. What are your opinions on the fight costume? Yeah, I would say it's pretty useful sometimes, especially when you're trying to get through this stuff. Now, see here, I'm just gonna grab that turkey there. And, oh, I barely made that. Good thing I actually did make that. Now it's uppercutting. Woohoo! All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, that's pretty easy. And yes, I aimed correctly for that one. Alrighty. So yes, three treasures. Oh, so we actually get a secret key, which yeah, you know, in every one of them, so we get the uh, secret level to get here, and then we still gotta face the boss. So I'm actually have to get the fire costume, which is right here. Still the fire costume. Now behind these trees, there's nothing there, so don't worry about it. Yeah, burn all those logs to burn away all the enemies. And look, it's Master Hand. He even sometimes turns into a sword. That's my turkey. The chicken. Yeah, those guys will eat anything. Yeah, they will eat you. 
which is kind of like weird. Now these spike balls just basically are like the equivalent to, I don't know, maybe thwomps and like Mario. You can't really kill him anyway. Okay, now make sure you pick up this hammer. Now this hammer guy moves actually kind of quickly and jumps around a lot. But he's pretty easy though. Just make sure you get his costume after you defeat him. A lot of bosses are like that because the hammer breaks special stuff like for instance this thing right here. And there you go. Your first treasure out of three. Alright. Once you're done with that you're teleported back here. And guess what? Use the hammer. Get this. You can also in this game if you get yeah you can make a fire hammer. I think if you have to scroll you can make a big hammer too. So pick a door. I'm gonna pick the this door that goes up. I'm not sure if it really makes a difference. Yeah, this one's the big door. And I just lost my hammer there. Make sure I better not lose that again. And, oh, shoot, I think I actually need that fire costume. Darn it. Or, I don't know. Yeah, these uh, enemies do respawn here, which I'm gonna try to get this one to respawn here. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the treasure is either... Nope, it's in the barrel down there. So what you can do is you can't go back. There's the sword, dude. Alright. So now that you're here, guess who it is? I did miss a treasure. It's actually in the bottom one. I should have picked the bottom one. I knew I should have. That was actually my fault. Sometimes I can't just remember the way. Oh! Shoot! No! No! Oh! Thank goodness. Now I gotta get in that castle before it closes it. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go! Come on, go, Kirby! It's gonna close it. Oh, come on! I missed two freaking treasures in this one. Well, that's dumb. That stupid thing wouldn't get out of the way! I'm gonna have to go back and redo that level again. I got one treasure, and I knew where the other two were exactly. So, I'm going to save my candy. I know exactly what I'm going to use it for now. I'm going to use this fire. I'm just going to speed ahead in this level now. Avoid all this crap here. Well, that's a pretty good way to speed ahead, I would say. I really could care less about the chicken right now. And let's keep going. Oh, shoot, I can't get the- Ah, oh, forget it. I'm gonna get too bit of a hurry here. I don't really care if they hit me or not. Besides, I can get the sword costume right here. So let's go, and I really am not gonna pick up this guy's- Ah! Oh. Come on, throw your acorns out, little guy, or big guy. Now hit me with your hammer. Well, hit me with your hammer, I said. Okay, you missed. And there we go. I guess I'll just get the casting because I feel like it. Now I really don't need to get in there again. Alright, the bottom one is the one to pick now. I'm gonna remember that. Always pick the bottom one. The smaller one works, I suppose. No, it's just candy. Where's this? Where's my? Oh, there it is! Whoa! Okay, see these golden waddle dudes right here? Make sure you suck them in. They carry a treasure. Do not let them die. Okay? I was like, crap, where's the other one? And there it is. So, it was just a piece of candy. Okay, now I'm gonna know for this part to become invincible. Because this was pretty annoying, these guys right here. Especially that one right there. It kept on. I'm not sure to stop him. Oh, he went into his castle. Okay, so when he comes into here. And oh, shoot. Ah! Oh, man, I'm down on HP. Oh, I guess I gotta become invincible now. Woohoo! Now, when he becomes angry. Like, he becomes angry if you. 
shoot. Alright, now that he's angry, he's gonna get really, like, mad, I would say. And that's when you don't want him to be. But that's alright, he's good anyway. So we get our two treasures that we actually skipped. And we're just gonna get through the rest of the level now. Oh, that was more of a pain than I thought it was. So we get two treasure chests, and let's see, what are they? Alright, so we got a secret map and part of the health, which means every time you get two, you get an extra life. So we get more health here now. So that's actually kind of cool. But, alright, time to go face the boss now. Now, I'm going to pick up the fire, the ice, and the question mark. Now, mix the fire and ice and get... Alright, so I get the ninja and the high jump. I'm going to go with the ninja, actually. Because <coughs> the ninja is pretty helpful in this boss. Now, this boss is like a giant mole. She will throw stuff at you. It's pretty easy to dodge. <coughs> I would say it's pretty easy to dodge. Oh, I'm just gonna hit all over the place, huh? Right. This is not even a hard boss either. Now watch. When she goes like that, her shadow will get bigger, and she even hurts herself by doing that. So let's just throw her spikes at her. And okay, every time she blinks her eye, that means she's going to do that. And oh, I almost killed her. And okay. So that's not too hard of a boss, I wouldn't say. And we get another boss badge. Yeah, we get another boss badge. Hooray. Alright, so now we unlock world um, level 3. I keep seeing world for some reason. But we're going to do that next episode, alright? So we'll uh, see everybody next episode.